Hi YouTubers, it's up next round so we read for the Rainbow League Beyonce Oscar. So Medical Thursday. I was talking right now, basically sinus cancer right now. So this is cancer of the nose, so the inside of the nose. Basically, sinus cancer is rare, thankfully, because it's not a heart a easy cancer to diagnose. And the reason is because, and I'm obviously I'm not a doctor, not giving medical advice, don't take my videos too seriously. Yeah, some people take my videos a little bit too seriously. Um, the reason is because uh, the cancer generally has a lot of area to grow in. That's why um, cancer of the sinuses, same thing as the back of the tongue and the um, somewhere in the throat, have a lot of area to grow. And that's because that's the reason. The reason why a lot of times they're not caught early is because these cancers have a lot of area to spread before they become symptomatic. Unlike the lip or the inside of the palate, the mouth, where if you you know put your tongue on it, you definitely feel it right away. So these cancers are thankfully rare. Most of the time, if somebody's going to get a head and neck cancer, <clears throat> it's going to be in the back of the tongue, the the um, voice box, that area. So sinus cancer is not incredibly common, but it's still a cancer that needs to be dealt with. And generally what causes it can be smoking and alcohol use. However, more more uh, commonly, and there is a type of sinus cancer called nasopharyngeal cancer, which is very rare, about 2,000 cases each year. Um, also what causes it can be oftentimes when you breathe in, not just cigarette smoke, but also like uh, exposure to wood dust and um, environmental toxins, and that's what more more likely is to cause uh, sinus cancer. I'm not saying that you can't get it from cigarette smoking <clears throat> or alcohol use or other types of things like HPV. However, it's more likely to be caused by like breathing in like dust or like fumes. So it is a very serious type of cancer. So you want to, if you have any symptoms, you want to see a doctor, a nice big ass doctor. Obviously, I'm not a doctor, so I don't take my videos too seriously. And no, I'm not actually. A cancer patient myself. So, you know, see a, pro a medical professional. They got to see your flight. Bye.